hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today in this video i'm going to show you how to make this skirt here i'm going to show you how to make this elastic skirt here this is just a little elastic skirt i'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy elastic skirt if you just want something simple easy and quick all right so what you're going to need you're going to need some elastic you're going to need a, um, some stick glue. Now, if you have a large piece of paper, you don't need the stick glue. You're going to need some marker for draft. You're going to need a fabric scissors. You're going to need a paper scissors. And you're going to need some paper. So, this is what you're going to need. And you're going to need some fabric as well. Now, for do this skirt, you're going to need, like, in 60 inches, you're going to need, like, two yards of fabric in the 60 inches fabric. So before, and you're going to need a measuring tape, you're going to need a ruler. So before further ado, let's go ahead and let's start um, drafting this pattern. So the pattern, when you draft it, it will be like this. It will be like this pattern here. Now, we're going to use our waist measurement to create this pattern. Just our waist measurement to use it. So before further ado, let's get started in creating this pattern. Anyhow, so I'm going to see if I could speed this up a little for you where you could understand. So I get two pieces of paper and I'm going to put this together. So I'm going to face this back together. And this is the width and the length of my scale. Right? This is the width and the length of my skin. So I'm going to draw a rectangle onto this paper. I'm going to come down like two inches from this paper. I'm going to come down two inches. All right? Or if you're using centimeter, you could come down like four centimeters from the edge of the paper. All right? So two inches from the edge or four centimeter from the edge of the paper, you're coming down, you're measuring down. And you're gonna connect this line here. You're gonna connect here. You're gonna connect here. You're gonna connect this line. Next, you're gonna measure down the length of your skirt. So let's say you want your length of your skirt let me say maybe 27 inches or 24 inches. However long or you want it to the floor, you measure down that length. So you're cutting a piece of paper, big, um, larger and longer than the length of the skirt and the width of your waist, right? We're going to, when it comes to the waist, we're going to get to the waist just. But let me just measure down the length of the skirt. So let's say I want 24 inches. I want, I don't want the skirt too long. But the person I do in this skirt for, they don't want it too long. Right, they want uh, like a 24 inches. So let's say I'm going to measure down that 24 inches. So from this paper, the edge of this side here, I'm going to go in. Because remember, you have to get seam allowance for this thing. So I'm going to go in like 2 inches to 3 inches from the edge of this paper. I'm going to go in. Right, and I'm going to close up this box. It's like a box I'm making. So I'm going to close it up to the length of the skirt that I need. So the person don't want the skirt too long, so they want it 24 inches. So I'm going to come down 24 inches. I'm going to get the other side of the paper, right? And now from the edge of this paper here, I'm going to measure back to this line here, the person waist measurement. Now we're working with a 21 inches waist measurement. If your waist is like 24 inches or 25 inches, it depends on what your waist is. That is the waist measurement we're working with. So let's say your waist is 38 inches. You measure from the edge of the paper here. So 38 inches. Sometimes you're 38 inches past this line here. That's why you're going to get a big enough piece of paper. Bigger than your waist and longer than the length of your skirt. So I'm going to measure back. You could measure back from this line. To this line or from the edge of the paper. So I'm going to measure back from the edge of the paper and I'm going to measure that 21 inches which it take me right here, right? Now for the bottom of the paper, I'm going to measure down the length here, how much they want the skirt. 
So you measure down the length of the skirt and you put the same amount here. So measure down the length you want. So you're going to measure down the length. Right? And we're going to connect these lines. So we're measuring down the length. And you're connecting these lines here. The marking that you put. Let me swing this paper this way. So, we're making something like a rectangle. Because this is a simple skirt. You want nothing too difficult. This is just if you want to, you know, you feel like you just don't, you want something just like, you don't want nothing with zipper, you don't want these things. You just want something ordinary and simple. So this is what we have so far, this rectangle. So now the waist measurement is 21 inches and the length of the skirt is 24 inches. Now what we're going to do, we have to put some seam allowance on this and we have to put the allowance for the elastic. So this is the top of the skirt, 21 inches, right? And you're marking this as waist. So this is the waist of the skirt. Now you're going to put how much ever elastic you're using. So let's say I'm using this quarter inch elastic here. This is a very slim elastic I have here. Or let's say you're using like this one inch elastic here, right? I'm not using this one inch elastic. I'm using just the quarter inch elastic. Now, if you're using the one inch elastic, they, they up top here, we're putting the elastic band. You have to measure up one and a half inches because if you're using the one inch elastic, you don't want the elastic for come and squeeze. And remember that for torn in half inch of this paper, the, the, the fabric, and then fold it down back again to stitch the casing for the elastic. So let's say you want to use a one inch elastic. I'm not using a one inch elastic. I'm using a quarter inch. But for you guys who want to use the one inch elastic, you're going to get your measuring tape and you measure up back to the paper that you leave, right? You measure up one and a half inches. So this is the allowance here because this allowance I left is for one and a half inches, right? So you measure up your one and a half inches and then you do your mark off or your line. Now I don't have to mark this off because from this line to the edge of the paper is one and a half inches. This is for the one inch elastic casing for the waist, right? Because the waist measurement we're working with. Now for the bottom here, this is going to be the hem, right? So the, the, the waist... And the hem is the same measurement, right? So 21, 21. Now on this here, you're going to put your grain line. Now you could cut this anyhow you want to cut it, right? You're going to put your grain line. The reason why we put grain line is to balance this fabric, right? You can put it like this. You can put it like this. Depends on who you cut in this fabric on. You can, on this pattern, you can make it out of stretch. You can make it out of... Um, you can make it out of any fabric because this is a pattern that you get here could make out of any fabric, right? So this is what we have here. So now we're going to put some seam allowance on this. Now the seam allowance you would put around the sides. It could be half inch. It could be an inch. It depends. For beginner, I would let them work with an inch seam allowance because they are more beneficial for them. It's going to give them more room, right? So for me, I would work with half inch. But for you guys, beginner, work with an inch elastic. With an inch arm seam allowance. So right away wrong, I'm going to put some seam allowance on this. Now for the hem of the skirt, I'm going to use one and a half inches. Right? Or two centimeters. It depends on how you want to make your skirt. So this is the hem that I dry wrong the seam allowance. Now for the top, I'm using a quarter in seam allowance. So I'm going to put my quarter. Now if you're using one and a half seam allowance, all you have to do is measure up from this line one and a half inches to the edge of the paper. But since I'm using a quarter in seam allowance, I'm going to measure my um, half inch, right? I'm going to use half inch for my um, elastic because I don't want my elastic. In the next slide, I'm going to show you how to gather the top of the skirt if you want. You know, you have them nice. When you look at some, you see you got a nice gather on the top of the skirt. So this is what we have here, sir, for our basic skirt. Now what we're going to do, you're going to cut this out. Now make sure all your lines together because if these lines line up, 
you're scared to be in trouble, right? It's going to be off. You don't want nothing to be off. You want when you're cutting, everything will be okay. So now we're going to cut out this. So go ahead, cut this out. Now you don't want the skirt too big. Remember, it's your waist measurement you're working with. The bottom is your waist measurement, and the top is our waist measurement you're working with. So whatever is your waist measurement, you make your, your cut a piece of paper wider than your waist measurement and longer than the end, the, the length of your skirt. So I'm cutting the hem here now. You're cutting this off. I prefer to draft my own thing because you're getting the fit that you want. Buying the clothes, then you ain't even getting the fit. So now decide which is back, which is front for you, right? So for me, I using this one pattern to get the whole skewer that I need. So I'm gonna put some marking on this. So this is the skewer. Skewer and is elastic, right? So this is my skewer. I put my name. If you want, you could put a date. You draw this skewer so you have the green line so now get your fabric you can use any fabric now i'm going to use a clear one for you where you guys can see so all these fabric that i am using is non-stretch fabric this fabric ain't got no stretch inside so the pattern could use with stretch fabric it could use with non-stretch fabric right now for beginners i want to advise you for use stretch fabric can you just file the fabric use non-stretch fabric now, this is a piece of muslin I have here. What them people just use for try out the um, pattern first, the style first, before they go in and cut the original fabric. So, I don't want to cut my original fabric. For beginners, I'm just showing you. Don't cut your original fabric here. Get a piece of muslin and use this. Right? This is a trial fabric. So, what you're going to do now, open your fabric. Now, for this skirt, you might just need... You might need um, about two yards of fabric or one and a half yard. If it depends if it's a 60 inches fabric, you're going to need about two yards of this um, project. If it's a 90 inches fabric, you might just use um, maybe about a half yard to a yard. It's up to you. depends for your size. So this is my fabric here. And my fabric very wide, right? This is the whole fabric I open out here. Now I'm going to fold this fabric in half right so i'm going to fold the fabric in half folding this fabric in half and you don't want you want your cut this cutting this on a fold to get the full skirt so you cut this in half like this put it in half so the fold of the fabric will be facing you and the opening of the fabric this two ends here will be facing away from you right so make sure your fabric lay, lay flat on the table. You don't want it to, um, because when you're cutting, you don't want it to be smooth. So make sure it lay flat. So you're gonna get this pattern here now. You will make sure the pattern waist facing up because you don't want the bottom end up in the top and the top end up in the bottom. Now, if you're using a pattern fabric, make sure the pattern line up. If you're using like a, a, um, uh, like a plaid or something, make sure the, the plaid or the fabric line up together at the end. So you don't want when you cut it, you see what's going on. You, 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 you get half, one pattern off from the other one. So line up there properly. And now I'm going to line up this. Let me just show you what I mean. So get this. Let me see if I could flip this fabric where you could see it longer. Yeah, you could see better. Right, so this way is going to be no better for y'all. So as I said, this is the opening of the fabric, right? It's going to be away from you. So my opening there towards me. So you're seeing better here. So get this fabric here, this pattern piece here. Right, this is the waist. This is the hem. This is the fold of the fabric. Take the pattern, rest it on the fold of the fabric like this here. Make sure it's straight, right? You're resting it on the fold. I'm just pulling it down. You rest it on the fold of the fabric. Now, left the top of the fabric a little piece. Now, you don't know if you have enough, if it's straight enough. And you rest that there. Get some weight and put it on onto this arm so that the, it won't shift. So, I'm just using my ruler and so forget this done. 
So now I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut out this um, pattern here. Let me just swing this so I can get it towards me and cut this out properly. Right? So I'll just swing this. So now I'm going to cut this out. Now don't waste your fabric. Right? I'm going to cut this out. I cut that out. So when you put the fab the, the, the pattern on a fold, you get the whole straw that you need. You don't have to do nothing more when you cut that out. So this is the skirt. So I'm going to even up the top here. I'm going to even up the top. And I'm going to show you what you would end up with. So we work with a 21 inches waist, um, waist measurement. And we cut the, the waist twice. Got the waist cut on a fold. So we cut it twice. So this is well, this is the skirt. So remember the skirt on a fold. If you, if you don't have enough fabric to cut this on a fold, you can open the fabric and cut two pieces of this, but since my own is on a fold, I only have to cut one of these, right? So now, this is what you end up with. You end up with this whole long piece of fabric here. So now, this long piece of fabric here now, what we're going to do, you're going to fold it back on the wrong side. See, so you put right side facing right side. And you're going to fold this like this. So, right? so remember, this is, the, this is the top. So we're going to put a split here. So remind us that this is the top. So one split here, and you're going to put two in the bottom here. So this, you're going to know there is the bottom for the skirt. You must notch these things because sometimes you forget. So now, this is where you end up with. So we're going to get our machine, and I will show you what we will do next. All right? So let me just grab my machine. So this is my machine. I'll use this small one. Just to show you, I won't go, go on the big machine because I would have to get up from the table and you guys wouldn't see what I am doing. All right? So let's go ahead and let's sew this skirt now. So you're going to set up your machine. My own already set up. I'm going to bring it close so you guys can see. So I'm going to turn on my machine. Make sure everything okay. Bring it close to me. Now, this is a skirt here, right? So, this is your skirt here. Look for the top of the skirt. Now, I know my top because my own have one split and the bottom have an X split. So, fold your skirt right side, touching wrong, right side. So, the two wrong side going to be on the outside. One facing you and one facing down on the table. So you're going to fold it and line it up, right? And we're going to make sure here even. So now you're going to grab your machine. And you're going to stitch in the seam allowance that you made on the arm thing, right? Now, I don't use pin because I pass pin stage. I don't pin. If you're a beginner, you can get, um, let me see if I get some pins. So like just the beginner, um, see, hold on, give me a second. If you're a beginner, you can get pin, and you can pin in the seam allowance. You pin, I like to pin this way. Pin this way. This is just for beginners. This is not for people who don't know for sure. All right. And what you can do? You get your ruler and the amount of seam allowance that you um, leave out, you can get a washable marker. Don't use this permanent marker that I'm using because it won't come out your, your arm, your, 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 your fabric. I'm just using this for demonstration purpose. So I'm going to draw in the seam allowance that I do. I'm just doing this for you. Eh? I don't have to do this. I could. And I'm going to Marking the seam allowance that I need to sew. So this is my seam allowance. So 
So that is my symbol. You don't use this marker. Don't use permanent marker. Look for a washable marker or use chalk. You have white chalk. You can use chalk because chalk you could see onto your fabric. You can use white chalk. Get your machine. And we're going to stitch this. So put it under the machine and we're stitching in the seam allowance that we, we, we have. Now I have a little machine DJ that I use and I just connect wherever I want it to be. Right? Now you're back stitching. And you continue sewing the side. This is the side we sewing on. Or you can turn this in the back if you want. When you meet the end, you back stitch it. You cut your thread, put your machine aside. Now this is your um, allowance you have here. Just flip the fabric like this. So you see you can put this in the back, you can put this in the side. But make sure this press down properly. For demonstration purpose, I won't go and overlap this. If you have an overlap here, overlap it, or you can use a, um, we call it, a, with this thing name for knitting the edge. So this is what this is going to look like. Now, you're going to grab your skirt, look for the top or the bottom. Remember, we are the top and we are the bottom. We split. So this is my bottom, so this is my top. Fold in the amount you leave. Right to put your elastic case in. You fold in the amount. You can fold it like this. And then you fold it back. That is for knitting the skirt. Right? And you can either pin this like this. I like to go at the next end and I like to fold it in. Like that. Pull in the amount you left. If you have to measure, measure it. What you have to do is get your measuring tape. If you have to measure, and you just measure the amount you're going to lift the case in. Right? Now, for me, I got a good average of how much I will lift. And I'm going to make my case in. I'm going to fold in. Make your casing. Right? And you continue pinning your casing right away wrong. So you're pinning the casing right away wrong for stitch it. So you're going to make like a casing for the scale for the elastic. So this is my casing here for the top. So now I'm going to stitch this. Now we're leaving about a one inch um, opening, right? Leaving about a one inch opening for this casing. So you're going to put it under your machine. Now I like to stitch it from the back here, from the seam, right here. So you're going to get this, place it under your machine, lift your machine foot, raise your needle. And you're gonna put it down in the seam. I like to stitch it from the, the seam. And you're gonna back stitch. And we're gonna stitch wrong, but we're leaving a one in seam alone. You fold in wherever come out. You saw him.
Now I coming back to the stitch that I close in. So I will leave a one inch seam allowance, a one inch opening, so I can send the elastic through. So you're gonna cut, and your casing supposed to look like this. So this is your casing. Now this is where I leave the, the, the um opening here. Now what I like to do before I um shove my elastic through. I like to hem the bottom of my skirt as well. So I'll go ahead and I would hem the bottom of my skirt. Now for demo purpose, um, demonstration purpose, I wouldn't fold the edge of this, right? Or if you want, you can you can see a skirt, go ahead and fold the edge. Jovi. Just a demonstration purpose. Let me just fold it for you. And I'm going to, I don't have to pin, right? I just bring my guide. And I put it to where I want my skirt to sew. And I'm gonna see how quick I can do this. Back step. As you meet your fold, fold in. Holding in. Make sure the bottom of your skirt even. Pull. Fold this back in and you come back. Then you get out of there. So when you meet the other stitch, we will just back stitch it. Or you can just stitch across it without back stitching it. So I done with stitching of this skirt. So I'll put a machine aside. I'll get the scissors and cut the tray. So I'll cut the tray. So let me just raise this aside. So now this is the bottom of my skirt here. This is the top of my skirt where I'm going to insert the elastic. So I'm going to get the elastic. And we're looking at the waist measurement of the elastic. Right? So forget the waist measurement. What I do, I put the skirt like that. Like this. And I measure from here. God, remember you're stretching the elastic to here. And I cut it. Or you measure around your waist. Now you're going to insert this elastic into this skirt. Inserting, you get your pin, and you insert it into the opening you leave here. Pin sorting. Make sure you're pinning opening the tube. So it's actually something. The piece will carry out a sort sheet till it comes through. You get the elastic, pull it to suit. So you get a whole skirt here. Pull it. Now, if you don't want to stitch your elastic, let's say you're running late. God, the elastic got back in here. You want to tilt it. Wow. Sorry about that. My elastic got back in. I lose it. That's why. So you get the picture of how you're inserting this elastic. I have to insert back mine because it's loose. So let me run this through back quick for you. I go and I lose it. Now 
you get the idea how you're tubing this elastic thing. So if you want to stay on the live, you stay. So this is a simple skirt. If you want to do a simple skirt, you do the simple skirt. All right? You do a simple skirt. Then, yeah, so you tubing, you're tubing in this elastic here. So this is a simple skirt. Why are you hearing back myself? Hold on. I hear him back. Okay, thanks. I lose the elastic. Sorry about that guy, but I've, I've got to hold this end of this elastic here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pin this here as it keeps um, hanging through. So I have to hold that there with a pin. So you see when you two bay elastic, hold it with a pin. I forget I, I didn't hold it with a pin. And make sure you get a pin that is opening out in between the tubing. So your tube your elastic tube. I know sometimes you just want a simple skirt for run down the road. You don't have with no zipper and button and all these things. Sometimes I don't have a button and zipper and all these things. Take too long. So now I'm going to come and I'm going to insert this here. So, right. So let me just hold this elastic here before it come out back. So I'm going to lose this. And you're going to insert the elastic into this skirt here. Oh, now this elastic self. Eh -eh. I don't know the pin. The pin gone. So you see the stress so so in does be? Some people just make it look very easy, but it's not no easy not to. You see how much time this elastic come out back from me? The reason why is because the pin open out inside here. I'm just showing you the stress from the how seam stress does have the stress. So when them seam stress charge you for your clothes, don't from your face. It does be a lot of work. My thing on it hooking between there, so that's why I have to run back to the elastic. How many times? But you don't have to do this, especially if you pin the elastic and you get a sturdy pin you don't have to do this so much time it's only one time you have to run through this tubing but by my own coming came out that's why i going back to it forget the elastic properly i think this is the final going through i don't think i have to go through this again so you get the idea look for the you know sometimes it have a piece of hard piece here. look for it we could tube it through properly you understand it does have a section here. So now you have to lose all this whole uh, piece back together. But this I find it just now. I know like it. I want to give me trouble to find out. Let's say you get in this jam here. And you are finding the section for come to it. All you have to do. Is get a pin. And you lose this piece here. You lose all this thread here. Now, so sometimes it, you get it easy. And sometimes it jam. Right? All you have to do is get a spin. Just showing you the difficulty sometimes you just end up in. And you lose that. You lose that out. And see if you find it now. Let's see if we get it. So I just jump sometime right here. If not, you will get us um, a seam ripper. And you have to lose that out and find it where part it, it is. Let me see if I get it. I ain't get that. Let me get a C and show you. All that in um all that does be in in, in sewing. Alright. So there is the difficulty sometimes some seam trust. There you got this thing here. We could do so that piece and you just stitch it back. So if you reach in that difficulty, this is what this is what we just use. You see, they say 
this is a seam work for your trolleys. So we're gonna push this here and we're gonna loose out this little piece here because we don't want to take all this time. So you loose out this thread back here. You could find the end. So we loosen that out. So you lose that, right. So you see here now, so you get this and there's a little piece sticking out right here, causing it not to go through. So you're gonna find it and you're gonna push this through, the skirt right here. All right, let me hold the end over here. And now we're supposed to go there. All right. Let's say you don't want to stitch this elastic. You don't have time for stitch no elastic. You just tie it if you want. It's all up to you, but make sure the elastic come wrong properly. All right? Pull it to your waist measurement, from whichever your waist is. Let's say I have a mannequin here that I stuff to the person waist. So this is a mannequin here I stuff. This is a uh, mannequin I have here, and I stuff it to the person waist. So I'm going to pin this elastic here and I'm going to get it to the person waist that I saw in this for. So I'm going to pin this and I'm going to pin this here before I pull this elastic. I don't want it too tight, you don't want it too big on the person. So turn it over. So I have to stuff this to get the person waist. And I'm going to pull it over this mannequin here. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. Let me just drop this mannequin down for you. There you see. It's the perfect fit I have here. So I don't have to adjust this. I just have to send this elastic out. And now, since I get the perfect fit that I need, I just spread out the Elastic even so the skirt could be even. You understand? Let me just show you. Let me see if you can see like this. Let me just fix this here. Fix this. And you fix it. All right. So this is a nice, like a balloon looking kind of skirt with the elastic. So since I get that, let me just tie off the elastic. So I get the waist. So I don't have to do anything more to this. I could stitch the elastic or you just tie it off. Now for professional use, you're going to stitch the elastic. Right? If it's for you, you just tie the elastic. So let me show you how to stitch this elastic, how we just stitch the elastic. In your machine, get the two ends of the elastic. Let me just show you. Gonna lose this. You get this to end here. Now make sure that the elastic in here in roll up. Right? Make sure it in torn up and roll up. Alright? So you're gonna get the two end like this. Once it torn right, cut off the extra piece. Take your elastic. And put it like this over the don't don't stitch the elastic this way. Don't stitch it across so because you'll have this bulk. Flip it like this, put it on the machine, pull it, put it on the machine. I like to stitch it long way. I get more arm um, stitch. Put it on the machine like that. Flipping this elastic, make sure. You hold it in place. You put the elastic down, turn it properly. Let me just pin it. You pin it, keep it in place. Then you put it on the machine. So you're gonna put it over here, especially if your machine thing could come off. You put it over, put it down, and now we're going to stitch that. 
No. I'm going to move it once I start stitching it. I'm going to move it. Box stitch. Box stitch. And now you take it out from your machine. Raise up your foot. You cut. And now you send it in. Send it in here. So when you don't send anything, this is what the skirt will look like. You see? So now we're going to see this piece over here. But this is where we send in the elastic. We're going to go and we're going to stitch in. Make sure the piece you stitch gone inside. You don't want to stitch any bulk and you don't want to stitch on the elastic. So you're going to get elastic, your, your skirt, turn it from the right side because you have to see where you're stitching. Put it on the sewing machine. And we're going to come and we're going to stitch this back right here. Turn it from the right side and we're going to close the opening. So you're going to close the opening. Now remember I'm stitching this with a thread where you guys can see. So now you close the opening. You're going to give your skirt a good press. I won't be pressing my own here. So... Take off your thread, then loose thread, and you get the person skirt to give them. So when you're done, you end up with a nice little skirt like this, very neat. So this is the round side, and this is the elastic side. So you end up with a very neat little skirt, right? I make two of this skirt here, let me just show you. So this is the next one. So you end up with a little skirt like that. All right. So this skirt that we make is we make it from our waist measurement and we cut two. So this is the pattern here. You cut two of this pattern. If you're using a white piece of fabric, you cut two of the pattern. If you don't have the fabric on a fold, you cut, uh, no, you cut this one on a fold, sorry. One piece on a fold of the fabric. If you don't have enough fabric to put on a fold, you cut two pieces of fabric. So this is the skirt we're going to end up with. So this is where you guys will end up with. These nice little skirts. Right? So now that you learned that, what you can do if you want to use your real fabric, like let me say you have a nice piece of fabric and you want to use it, then you go ahead. Once you get it and you cut out your original fabric. But I always use um, trial fabric before I put it on my original fabric. Because sometimes you buy fabric and it's, too, and it's expensive fabric you buy. And then you go and you spile it. You don't want to spile it. So always buy a piece of, um, a piece of muslin fabric and you sew, your, you sew the skirt. Right? So we end up with this little this skirt. Here. Right? So this is things. So now that I get this properly, I'm going to go and cut out the original fabric for the person that I am sewing this skirt for. So I was just showing you for them. So now if you share my page and keep joining my life, so you will get to learn a lot of things. So thank you for watching and if you like this skirt, if you make it, you can post it, um, send it to me, I can put it up on my page, you know, and you will see. So people could see what you need. So if you enjoy the class, please like it, please share, and let me know. Bye-bye, and enjoy, and I will see you guys next week around the same time. Bye-bye.